Hi everyone, it's Kylan and today I'm going to be filming a what's in my iPhone 6 for you guys and this is my iPhone. It is a it's a gold 64 gigabyte and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And um, like I mentioned, I think in one of my other videos, this case is just a um, Milky Way or shop Milky Way case and it's probably not focusing. Um, but I really like this case and it's kind of like the only case I've been using for quite a while. A lot of compliments on it. So yeah, now to get into what is on my phone. The first page is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I have my photos, my camera, and then the one of the most important apps that I use is the weather app and I check it every day because where I live the weather is just not predictable at all so I use that app so much it's insane um I do use the notes app more for kind of things that I need to remember um and also if I have a video idea a video idea pop in my head and I don't have something to write on then I will usually write it on my notes app I don't know who uses the stocks app because I don't let's see what else do I use on here the clocks or the clock app is actually my favorite app probably because I use it for everything. If I'm taking a nap, I will set a little timer um, and also I have my alarms and one of the coolest things about the app thing is that I mean I have like 10 million alarms but one of the best things is that you can set an alarm to repeat for every day, like every weekday, or if you wake up every day at the same time. Because um, a huge problem that I used to have was that I would have to set my alarm every night, and I sometimes wouldn't remember. And I hate waking up not like prepared for it, and just like going throughout the day. I just think it's going to be a terrible day. So that is definitely something that I've been using a lot. And the calendar, I use my agenda more for like homework and stuff like that. And the calendar, I have um, school meetings that I have to go to set to remind me like five minutes before. And that's also a super helpful map. I use this more than I use any other navigation. My car navigation is like really nice, but I generally like to use my maps more just because I think that it's easier to see it um, the way that it's laid out on the maps app everything else on this page i don't really use and um, i wish i used my voice memos like gg gorgeous but i don't so yeah and the reminders i like but the fact that um i just like writing it a lot more and yeah i have a little folder for all the other things that would be used for school i guess um I was telling my friend that it was like really cool that now we have like pages, keynote, um, iBooks, numbers, and iMovie on here. But she was like, when are you ever gonna use that? And I was like, maybe if I don't have my computer or something, but I've never used it, so. And then the tips thing, I just have tips, health, and garage band, which I also never use. And then the bottom part is like my most used. So it's my phone, mail, music, and messages. And those are, I'm pretty sure they came with the phone already on the bottom. But yeah, I've had an iPhone for so long, I can't remember if I did that myself or not. And then um, next, on the second page, my calculator. Um, I use a calculator whenever I don't have my regular calculator or also when I'm trying to calculate like tips I have to use the calculator I know I'm terrible and for pictures um, I use these for editing Instagram pictures because I those are the only photos that I ever edit um, so square ready is the best thing ever I actually don't think that they have it anymore in the app store they probably have something else similar to it but it's basically so that you can zoom out the picture and keep it the full size in the Instagram like standard square. And then um, I don't really use Vine or Woodnello, but PicFX is also one of my favorite little editing apps. If my friend Sarah doesn't edit them for me, then I edit them myself with PicFX. My favorite 
little things. I usually use the PFX film and I really like PFX 5 and um, just like I generally gravitate towards a little bit warmer filters. Actually no, I lied. A little bit cooler filters because I don't like the orangey look. I generally like it to be more cool toned. So yeah, PFX 20, PFX 5, 200, all of those are like really, really nice. And also I just got this GoCam. I like it, but I think it's kind of confusing. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do like the warmer tones on this one. Um, what is it? Visco Cam. So yeah, I generally do the warmer tones, but actually um, I don't like Visco Cam as much because you have to like, I guess, buy the other filters and I don't have time for that. So. Yeah, and then Flickster I use a lot and that's just, um, I check the movie times for theaters around me and I really like it and also I can see in the box office like what movies are coming out. And Snapchat, of course I use so much. Yelp is actually so helpful. I use Yelp a lot when I'm in New York or places that I'm not like super familiar with. Also just at home if you want to kind of find someplace different that you haven't been to before Yelp is awesome just for um, I use it mainly for restaurants and you can find great restaurants on Yelp and I totally suggest it and then I have the YouTube app which I used to use quite a bit now not so much I usually just use it on my computer but if I'm out of town and I don't have my computer um, then I will use YouTube and also Twitter um, I haven't really been using Twitter that much but I definitely want to kind of get more into it again I used to use it so much and then I kind of stopped but um, that's just like how I am I just am like a wavelength person um but yeah definitely follow me on my Twitter I always have it linked down below and it's Kyle and Eclipse so um pretty much every social media that you will find me on is the same username as this channel so you should definitely follow me there and also one of my favorite apps is BuzzFeed. I love the BuzzFeed quizzes and just like the news. I don't know. I think it's a good way to stay um, kind of aware of current events um, because I think it's definitely really important to be aware but also there's kind of lighthearted obviously um, articles that will help you with kind of I guess taking the harder current events. So yeah I do love BuzzFeed. And Instagram, also my username is Kylan Eclipse, and it's linked down below, and I will also link it here, so Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, um, I love Instagram, I use it a lot more than Twitter, and I just love posting photos, and it's super fun. In the others folder, I definitely use my Garmin app, which is a fitness app for like my watch. That's a Garmin EvoFit watch, and um, I love that. And also I use Spotify. In the stuff folder, I generally use the Heads Up app and the Shazam app. But in here I also have the NIV Bible, Dictionary, Note Lock, I don't know why I have that, Symbaloo, FaceTime, PocketTube, SoundCloud, at t Passport, which is helpful for when you're traveling, and then Shazam. Then in Entertainment, I have Temple Run, Netflix, Pinterest, Translate, Fun Run, Quizlet, The Hunt, Kardashian Game, and Trivia Crack. And I mostly use, out of those ones, um, Quizlet, Translate, and um, I'm not going to lie, I used to be obsessed with the Kardashian Game, but I haven't played it recently because I was like, this is getting out of hand. So yeah, that is everything that is on my iPhone. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you follow my Twitter and Instagram down below. And also make sure that you like and comment your requests down below and also subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.